Hey guys, it's Trip with Ift, and today I want to announce a new service live on Ift Threads. Launched in 2023 and now has over 200 million users, Threads is Meta's microblogging platform where Meta has Facebook, which is a social networking site, Instagram, where posts a lot more images and videos. Threads is a more text first microblogging site. And honestly, with over 200 million users, you're probably using it right now, but it's live on Ift, which leads to a lot of cool stuff you can do with Threads. Things I wanna to cover today with our new thread service on Ift are stuff you're already doing with all the other social media sites live on Ift today. You're doing content cross posting, you're doing content archiving, and you're doing content curation, which means you're pulling content from other platforms, editing it yourself, and then posting it to your own social media site. And now you can do that with Threads. So here we are on the Threads uh, service page. Again, like any of our other thousand services live on Ift, all you have to do is connect it and it'll automatically allow you to connect Threads to every other service live on Ift. Let's click this details section and I'll just walk you through the TQAs that are available on our Threads uh, service. So with the triggers, so this is if something happened inside of Threads, automatically do something outside of Threads. So any new post, any new text, image, video, carousel, and audio post, anything you do inside of Threads, you can automatically send it to any other tool, database, social media platform that exists on Ift. If we look at the queries, you can get followers counts. So a lot of people like to track their followers and you can set up some automations where it's like every day, add our current follower count to a Google spreadsheet. Or if I press this button on my mobile widget, automatically send my threads follower count to a Google spreadsheet. And then actions, this means if anything happens outside of threads, automatically do something inside of threads. So you can create a text post, link post, image post, video post, and carousel. Some examples are if I post a carousel to LinkedIn, automatically post it to threads. Or if I post a video to YouTube, automatically post it to threads. You can literally do anything, get creative, customize it however you want. Speaking of cross-posting, we have applets that are already built that allow you to cross-post any of your threads posts directly to other platforms. For example, you can share your threads post to Discord automatically, or you can share your threads images directly to LinkedIn. Or if you post a new video on YouTube, automatically share that to your audience on threads. A lot of users like to save their historical social media posts into a database like Google Spreadsheets or Notion or OneNote or even Google Docs. We have already a couple pre-built applets that allow you to save either your posts or your follower count into a Google Spreadsheet so you can analyze growth over time. For example, if you send your follower account to a Google Spreadsheet using the button widget. So that's a custom mobile button widget on your phone. And whenever you think about it, press the button, it'll automatically send your follower account to a spreadsheet. And you can just look at that over time to see the growth of your social media channel. You can save your threads post to a Google Spreadsheet. So you'll have a historical archive of all the posts you've ever posted on threads. And then you can use that spreadsheet to analyze what content am I posting, what topics am I covering, or how have I changed over time as a social media influencer? Now, I think it'd be really cool if I started automating some of the posts I post to threads by using information and data from other news sources that can pull directly into Ift. Let's build this applet together. As I'm filming this video, the thread service actually hasn't been published yet. So I'm using the back end of the Ift platform. This is a little sneak peek if you've always been wondering what happens on the back end, but it's basically the same. You still have the trigger query filter code delay action format. The applet I want to create is I'm a huge Leeds United fan. And so I'd love to automate some posts from a Leeds United news source. So we have over 50 custom news sources on the website that you can automatically pull from and curate content and publish to your own social channels. I am going to search the Premier League. And then I'm going to go down to Leeds United. So this is a, I think it's a fan blog, but I want to promote this content to my audience on threads. I'm going to use this text action. I'm just going to search threads. And I want to create a link post. I'll link back to the source blog so that they can get some traffic from my audience. All right. So what I do want to do is I'm going to add a query and let's just, we've got a bunch of AI tools on the platform. But I'm just going to use that ChatGPT prompt. I'm going to create a custom threads post on here. So I'm going to say, write a 300 character uh, post 
designed for the threads platform on the subject of, and I'm just gonna pull the title. And then, so what this is gonna create for me is a custom threads post on the topic of a Leeds United news source. I'm gonna come down here, create a link post, and all I have to do here, I'm gonna keep this URL, but I'm just gonna enter the prompt response. All right, and then that's it. Well, that's it, guys. There's a link in the description below that lands you on the Threads service page. Go connect your Threads account and start automating Threads today with Ift. And remember, this is Trip with Ift, where everything works better together. Thanks, guys.